Perfect. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Nathan Justin, and today I'll be talking about uh, my work on learning optimal classification trees, robust distribution shifts, which is worked on collaboration with Sina Gai, Andres Gomez, and Phoebe Vianos. So what are classification trees? Well, classification trees are a branching set of tests based off the attributes of a given data set, which we call the training data set. Then after some series of tests, we assign a particular label to each sample. Classification trees in general are a very popular machine learning model, largely due to their, due to their interpretability, which is necessary in many problem domains like the social sciences. However, within these domains, uh, machine learning models um, uh, are susceptible to distribution shifts, which is when uh, the training data and the testing data or deployment data are different. And so this can occur for many reasons. Um, Sina in his last presentation gave um, one reason for it, and I'll give you uh, perhaps another um, motivation as to why distribution shifts may occur. So say that you want you have a, um, a survey that you are um, trying to collect data for, and um, perhaps that survey um, asks um, very like highly sensitive questions. And so the framing of the question um, you can imagine will uh, determine the level of comfort an interviewee may have in answering that question to the interviewer. And so in your training phase, perhaps you have a question, um, I signify it with this beta here, um, that um, is maybe not framed in the correct way. And so perhaps in the deployment phase, in order to get better answers, you change the question slightly. However, what this may cause is a distribution shift to occur because in your training set, you have um, perhaps a different distribution of questions than in what you will actually see uh, in your deployment phase. And this can cause a poor, poor performance um, in that deployment phase because if you're training on a model, uh, you're training your model on the data that, um, that doesn't look like your, your deployment data, then you may have um, much more errors than you would want. So in order to tackle this issue, uh, we propose using robust optimization, um, which addresses the distribution shift problem without having to actually know what the exact distribution shift will be in your deployment phase. And it also has been shown to perform well, even if the distribution of your testing set is perhaps slightly different than what you anticipate. So with that in mind, we um, propose a robust optimization approach for building these um, robust classification trees. So mathematically, what is this problem? Well, this problem, we want to maximize um, the training accuracy, which is the number of correctly classified samples in the worst case distribution shift. So to break this down, uh, we can, uh, my figures are not showing up, which is great, but it's okay. <laughs> so, um, uh, so first you want to decide the tree structure. And so um, we can encode that into um, binary variables um, that relate to the branching set of tests and the labels that you assign. And um, you also can um, you can also uh, model the worst case distribution shift by a perturbation of your training set. And so this is through something called uncertainty set in robust optimization. And um, here we model um, we model that by assigning a certain cost for perturbing a, a certain data sample as a certain feature, then totaling the cost of per, total cost perturbation, we restrict that total cost by some budget. And this will model the allowable perturbations, which then allow us to model the uh, allowable distribution shifts we may have. And then lastly, uh, we want to count the number of correctly classified samples, but um, as um, anyone in the optimization, optimization space may know, Looking at this, this is very nonlinear, non discontinuous, and discontinuous, which um, would make a very hard, which makes the formulation very hard to solve um, efficiently. However, we borrow a pro we borrow a um, a uh, method from uh, my co-authors um, on the paper "Strong Optimal Classification Trees," where we transform the problem of counting directly classified samples as a maximum flow problem. And then this gives us a linear um, objective and a linear set of constraints, and we're able to reformulate this problem and use an iterative algorithm to solve its optimality. So just to briefly go over the test results, um, so we took uh, we took twelve different data sets and um, um, and through different uncertainty sets and different tree depths, we derived a worst case test accuracy by perturbing our test data in many different ways. And the vertical axis here is the gain in worst case accuracy from using a robust tree versus um, the um, versus a non-robust tree. And the horizontal axis controls the size of the uncertainty set, which controls the size of the number of distribution shifts you consider. And as you can see in general, um, with a tuned budget of uncertainty, 
um, we are able to perform better than a non-robust tree. And um, for each pair of plots, we also try to um, perturb our data in a way that was unexpected. And as we can see on the um, each pair of plots on the right, um, that we still have a favorable gain in um, accuracy, even um, with unanticipated distribution shifts. And so with that, thank you very much. We also have a paper, uh, a workshop paper, and we're also working on a journal version. Thank you.